Hi, I'm Lee, welcome to the channel. Uh, this is the first time I've tried doing a haul video. It's only little. Um, we didn't go to our usual car boot today. We went, tried, tried somewhere totally different and uh, it was busy. It was like over probably 100 cars there, but I just didn't see a thing. Um, I did try shooting some footage of, footage of it, but when you're not picking anything up or there's nothing to see, it's uh, the footage is a little bit boring. Um, I might show you a couple of bits um, of me walking around aimlessly. All these people, nothing to buy. Uh, and a couple of bits of, a uh, couple of shots of people just shoulder to shoulder, fighting to see what's in the boxes and tables. No social distancing whatsoever. No social distancing. Unfortunately, that's what you get with some people. Um, I'll show a couple of clips in between. But there was one thing. I did find one thing at the end just before he was walking out. So the one thing I did find at the first car boot was just this, an Xbox uh, 360 Connect. Um, I only paid four pound for it. The only reason I got this was because it has somewhere tangled in this mess. Uh, that is the usual Xbox connector for the Connect, um, but it's got the USB converter on there. Um, I've got Xbox connects all over the place. I've probably got about five or six of them, but um, the Xboxes I've had don't have the uh, that connection on them. So at least I've got the USB converter. That's what I think it is anyway. So at least I can test my other Xbox connects now and sell some 360s with, with them. Uh, so that was it. One thing. Waste of getting up at half five or five o'clock in the morning for. Um, so on the way to that car boot, uh, we then went to, uh, we saw a sign for a, a little village car boot. So it was only five minutes away. It was on the way back for the sort of home. So we thought we'd pop in there. Um, it was only a little, there was about 20 cars there. Um, hardly any sellers. So walking around and social distancing, perfect. That's what I like. That's the ones I like. What did we get there? Right, oh, the first thing, I just saw this old Binaton, uh, Binatone even, uh, Digimatic. And it has a flip clock on it. See, so yeah, it's an old clock. I think, you know, I saw the flip clock and I thought everyone loves a flip clock. So yeah, she wanted two pound for it. Um, so yeah, that was it. Picked it up, but she, well, she was honest. She said to me, the on and off buttons, so I'm looking at the TV up there so I can see what I'm doing. She said this, uh, the on and off button, it was stuck over to there on auto radio and it wouldn't turn back to on or off. So she was like, oh, we'll just leave it on auto, but that's fine. But I want to be honest with you, and I'll tell you it doesn't work. But I've just had a look at that and when I turned it past where it was, it clicked. Uh, not that way, it was that way. It clicked past there. And further down so all i did was literally pull the button off turn it into the right place where it was meant to be which at the moment was over there and yeah then i had it in the right place and then it went one two three works on all the settings um haven't tested that yet but if that works that will be like um two pound into Probably about 30 quid. I think this would go for 30, 40 pounds. So that could be a good little buy. Oh, and also, also the connects. I mean, you can still get sort of 20 quid for them, but that'll go with an Xbox 360. Yes. Right. My wife's just told me to plug this no, in. don't say that. <laughs> That's the don't say that. Right, I'm going to put it up there. And I'm going to plug it in. And turn it on. You see that? Well, can't hear much on the radio on it. Oh, flicked over. Right, well, I think that's going to be in uh, one of my fix it videos because the radio, the volume knob is very crackly, so that might need fixing. All right, that's going to be in the next fix it video. Uh, right, next couple of um, bits. A couple of uh, 
bog standard Harry Potter books, 50p each. They're only the uh, paperbacks, but they will just go and, and sit in our collection with other Harry Potter books. Um, nothing special, I think one's the 16th edition. Bloody bright lights. 16th edition on that one, and the 61st edition. So, but yeah, they'll just go in with a pack. Uh, ooh. And these, picked up, also picked up a set of C.S. Lewis, The Chronicles of Nana. No, Nana? The Chronicles of the Banana. Uh, yeah, so, little box set. They was only four pounds. Actually, this was, um, this was at the first car boot sale as well. This is one my wife picked up. Um, but yeah, they, they seem to be going for around 30 to 40 pounds. So it is, I've looked. Don't shake your head at me. Have you looked for Ted? Yeah, I've looked. It was that picture, it went for 35 pounds. Did it? Yeah. Underneath it says Ted Smart Edition or something. Look, it was 90 quid, brand new. 90 quid. Well, I looked online and there was one of these exact ones sold for 35. So, £4 to 35. That's what I'm putting down. I've got the boss next to me giving me lip from the side. Can you edit me out? No, I can't edit you out. Not now. Not now you've spoken over it and <laughs> interrupted. <laughs> right, and then really the final thing in that ooh, in the uh, small little village car boot we went to this box full of stuff uh, there was bits in here that weren't meant to be in there but we got that as well um she wanted what was it five pounds there's two playstation uh playstation twos in here got a couple of games with a few games nothing nothing special um there's a dual shock free remote which isn't for the playstation 2 and so there's no actual PlayStation 2 remotes, but actually no, there's a third party one. Is it a third party one? Where is it? Jesus Christ. No, that's a... Uh... God, it's horrible. Yeah, that's a third party remote for a PS3 as well. But yeah, the two PlayStations were five pounds um, all in with the games. And then on top, there was a few um, Xbox 360 controllers that was uh, the three for 10 pounds or near a stuffer. One of them has the little keyboard attachments on the bottom. Um, yeah, and like I say, there was other bits in there like that. She wanted three quid for, uh, but I just said, oh, I'll give you 15 quid for the old box. <laughs> And she said, yeah, I mean, I still need to, obviously still need to test all these. But this um, info scan, um, that just, you run it across a, your, uh, like text, like you'd run it, your, the pen over there, and it would uh, read it all in. And then you can copy it to your PC and whatever. Um, these actually go for, I think I looked these up, these are about 20, 30 pounds as well. So... Even if we paid three pounds for that, that would have been worth it. Um, so yeah, the PlayStation Twos. We've got a Slim. Obviously, now I've looked at it. There's no. Uh, now I've looked at it properly instead of just picking them up. There's a memory card cover missing. But hopefully that'll work. I've probably got some spares. I've got other. PlayStation 2's around, so I've probably got some spares to fit in here. So there's another loose bit of plastic crap on the back. But yeah, that'll go. I mean, these are PlayStation 2's you can still get sort of like 40 pounds for. And then uh, PlayStation 2 fat as well. Yeah, I mean, I didn't even look at these when I picked them up, but the seal's all uh, intact still. Stickers all intact. Uh, what is this one? This is the SCPH5003. Uh, so yeah, so that's um, another 30, 40 quid if that works. Then obviously, you know, just some bog standard PlayStation 2 games that are in there. Nothing special. Some Star Wars 
DVDs, nothing special. Uh, also got some Xbox 360 ones in there, nothing special. Random discs in that one. Random discs thrown in there, which are uh, absolutely scratched at buggery. You can see. Uh, we we'll stick them in a disc cleaner, so yeah, crap. Home Alone crap. Indiana Jones, Smackdown, here comes the pain. Yeah, but we got a couple of um, official, well that one's an official uh, PlayStation memory card. And so's that one. And now oh, that looks like a, a wireless connector for that, that third party wireless uh, remote that's in it. Yeah, a couple of random wires. There's no power supply for the, the PS2 Slim. PS2 Fat doesn't need a, its own power supply, but the, the Slim has a brick, but I've got some of them so I can test it anyway. And yeah, and the PS3 DualShock, DualShock 3 remote, six axis, bit of a, what do you call it? A bit of the joystick missing, but they're easy enough just to get replacements for them. And that was about it. Um, and then we did eventually go back to Norcross because we always end back at Norcross and um, it's only 10 minutes from our house. So maybe we should have gone there first because I just watched Zahir's video and these, although we had some good bits, it's, I don't think it was anything I would have really picked up anyway. Uh, I did see Zahir, but he looked like he was on a mission and pretty busy, so I didn't bother him. Uh, but that is about it. Oh, and some... Oh, I just got some random DVDs. You know, they don't sell for much, but when they're sort of cheap, pick them up. You know, Oasis, Oasis CDs, Oasis, REM, Best Of, uh, an old Ghost Train uh, DVD that's still sealed. Uh, it was only a couple of quid. I think there's CDs and stuff for 50p and uh, Life on Mars, which we've just found out has got one of the discs missing. But that's about it. I think we've spent, I think we spent about 30, 40 quid today. Um, but should get into the hundreds back on all the bits and pieces that we got. So it was a beautiful hot sunny day and now I'm boiling because I've now been out in the garden all day and mowing the lawns and doing bits and pieces while it was nice and sunny. But that's about it. I hope you enjoyed my first haul video. Um, hopefully next time I might get some uh, footage of me actually picking something up at the car boot. I think uh, I think the missus actually picked up more than I did. I picked up the Xbox and that one big box. Yeah, and one big box of stuff and the Xbox Connect, that's all I picked up. The rest is down to the, the missus. But thanks for watching. Um, I usually don't do these kind of videos. I'm usually uh, fixing stuff like this will be getting fixed next. Fingers crossed. But yeah, sometimes, you know, you pick broken things up like that, which could be worth £40, and it's a bit disappointing. But I like to take these apart and try and fix them. And most of the time, it is usually an easy fix. Some are a bit more difficult. I mean, in other previous videos, I've picked up sound bars, um, you know, uh, VHS, DVD players, that sometimes aren't working, like a sound bar. I changed the capacitor on there because it, it wouldn't turn on, there was no power. And that fixed, uh, paid a five for, for that, and sold it for 60 pounds. The guy come and picked it up, and it's perfect. Um, and also the VCRs I pick up, I, I clean them all, uh, clean the heads, kind of like do a refurbish and dust them out, um, clean DVDs. Um, it's just so, I know that when I send stuff off, I mean, you can plug a VCR in, put a VHS in, it can play, it can record, but you might send it off, and you know, they might have trouble with it within a week and it's coming back. But if I've cleaned it and cleaned all the heads, cleaned all the mechanism, I know that's gonna be working and fingers crossed that should not get returned. Not within the 30 days anyway. <laughs> well, if you like to watch these uh, kind of videos and uh, fixing videos, then please uh, give us a like. So please leave me a like, leave me a comment, uh, subscribe to the channel if you like watching stuff get fixed or if you want to see any more little pulls I do. Hopefully I'll 
get something on video next time. Oh, and you, you'll uh, you'll see a nipple cam. <laughs> you'll see nipple cam. If anyone's wondering what this hole is, not that. That's my microphone. I've got a hole in my pocket. If anyone noticed, it's for uh, that's for nipple cam. I'll uh, show you a clip of that in a minute from my phone. <laughs> it's quite interesting. <laughs> And that's what the footage was taken from. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching and hopefully see you again soon. See ya. And this is it. This is Nipple Cam. It's my little action camera. Slots into my pocket. And if I can do this with one hand. There we go. That's not like that doesn't look suspect at all, does it? <laughs> you do get a bit of chafing though. There you go, nipple cam.